what is going on everybody i'm back again with another video and i'm in brooklyn new york and today i'm gonna cover a small residential neighborhood that's between prosser park and greenwood cemetery right here it's a neighborhood that really doesn't get really much of a recognition and it's my first time here but i think it's pretty worth to explore i think it's super residential and a lot of nice streets so i'm here bordering prosser park and the neighborhood is over this way so I'm gonna take you guys with me, so join me. And the name of that neighborhood is Windsor Terrace. So it's a neighborhood, like I say, between two parks hidden right there, pretty small, but I think it's gonna be worth to explore. So I'm gonna start with the main street right here by Prospect and West Prospect. I feel that's like the little main street, then I'm gonna make a detour in some of the regular neighborhoods, some of the regular streets to see what can we find. And it's a fall season, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna see the trees pretty nice. Once we make it up the F train or the G train, this is Prospect Park which is kind of like the Central Park of Brooklyn. I think I prefer this park more than Central Park. It's more local. And this is the beginning of the neighborhood, Windsor Terrace, and then they got the circle over here. But we're gonna make it a little bit in the main street, and then we're gonna start making our way deep inside some of the streets to see what can we find. So now I'm just gonna make it through Prosser Park West. Like I said, the street goes all the way to the other side, but I'm gonna make a detour over here because I think there's a couple of business happening around here in this neighborhood and see what can I find. Like I said, this is the first time here for me, so I'm excited to see what this neighborhood has to offer. For this is the little main street, and it's really beautiful, and I like the fact how they have, you know, the sidewalks are uh, well maintained. Then another thing I noticed, they have like a couple of coffee shops and bagels around the city. So that's something that's pretty interesting. And you can see the fall season over here. Pretty beautiful. This is like November. So it kind of gives it like that little bit of a small town vibe. But this is like the back area of Prosser Park. So a lot of people, they probably don't know about it. But yeah, it's pretty lovely over here. And today the weather is a little bit chilly, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be sure that party in the summer season must be awesome and there's like a there's also like a supermarket across the streets and it's pretty interesting that out of all the neighborhoods this one is developed my biggest also is like a small section so it's probably easy to develop it you know and then i can see across the street they got more business going on they got like a supermarket another mini market in the corner so you don't really need like huge chain supermarkets in neighborhoods like this, you know, like I say, no matter what type of neighborhood you go, it's all walking distance and they got this beautiful architecture right here. Wow. It's like a brownstone building with the reddish colors. There's still more going on across the street, so. But I love it with the colors of the tree. So I'm probably gonna do like one more block of this main street and then I'm gonna merge left and start working my way around the residential part of the neighborhood to see what can I find. And I'm not gonna lie, it literally feels like if you're in another world. Show you a little bit of what I'm, I'm gonna expect. And I think in the back should be the uh, cemetery. I've never been there, but I heard it's gorgeous too. So it's like this neighbor is pretty, pretty hidden underneath, you know? So like I said, I'm probably gonna do uh, one more block ahead of me and then start merging into other streets to see what can we find. And you see it keeps going, like I say, it's like a mixture of a small town vibe combining the city and the neighborhood. But now then ahead of me is uh, 17th Street, so I'm gonna merge to my left and start seeing what can we find around here in this gorgeous neighborhood. So yeah, as soon as you make a detour over here, you can see it, it changed to another world, wow. It's like they got apartment compass and it's pretty, pretty quiet. I gotta say, I think I picked the right time to come to this neighborhood because you can see some of the trees, they have the fall colors and then combined with all this apartment complex, like I'll show you ahead of me. It's like plain beauty right here, look at this tree. Gorgeous, right? I'll have to be doing like detours in different streets to see if I find something pretty interesting to document. The good thing is not really a big neighborhood, so 
But I think it's gonna be pretty interesting to see what can I find. And also it seems like this neighbor is like a corner because I see it's going down the hill. Good thing I'm going down, but imagine when I come back up. Like I say, New York City, you really don't need like a gym because all this walking, all the streets, it's just like a perfect workout. So now I'm walking from Prospect Avenue. Gonna make them, I'm gonna detour in one of the streets, probably to my left, and make it a Windsor Avenue to see what's going on. But so far over here, you can see it's a pretty nice looking, you know, apartment complex architecture. But you see this like literally all over Brooklyn. So it's like all connected together. Then this one looks like it's houses and they got their own parking lot in the front. So this is kind of like a hidden gem right here between the parks and in Brooklyn. So I made a detour into one of the streets over here. And it's pretty lovely. I was going to make it to another block, but I thought I couldn't resist. But looking at this street over here, it's pretty gorgeous. With the architecture, you know, the fall season, I'll show you the street level. 360 view of what's going on. And then it goes up the hill, so it's like a perfect cardio. And then, like I said in my previous videos, one of my favorite seasons here is the autumn. You see the colors. But then if you own a car, it's not good because it covers up the street. Covers the streets and it'll mess up the car. So you gotta be wiping out the leaves. But you know, it's pretty interesting the history that you see around all this neighborhood. And it's pretty interesting that when you do a detour in the streets, you can hear how peaceful and quiet it is, you know. Not much of a noise and just pretty pleasant walking around with the architecture, the trees and all of that is just beautiful. I'm literally walking like in squares, just doing detours and stuff because there's so much to see in a small neighborhood. Pretty interesting, but ahead of me is Windsor Place. So I'm going to make it right over here to see what the street has to offer. Because I was looking at the map and it looks uh, pretty interesting. And yep, so far it looks cool. has like a different type of architecture that I'm going to show you guys. The one thing, I think it's a super patriotic neighborhood because Almost all the houses that I'm looking at, they have the American flag around here, so. But yeah, it's pretty interesting when you go to different streets. Some of the architecture is different. This one is pretty much like you see in the other streets. But then over here, across the street, is just like a different type of level. It's like one house, I don't know, the way it's designed, it looks pretty awesome, you know, I like it. And then it has like its balcony in the front. So that's something that's pretty cool. And already a lot of the trees here, they're the leaves are disappearing. That's when you know it's gonna get cold in a couple of weeks. So I'm trying to enjoy the autumn season while it lasts. And then ahead of me is Prospect Park. So one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to Prospect Park and show you the lake area that's going on. And then I'm gonna head back into the neighborhood and to show you the other side of the neighborhood that is pretty cool. And here comes an uh, intersection. Windsor plays in 11th Avenue. So. Just gotta look, I'm probably gonna look and show you guys my left side and that's Prospect Park over there. But then it kind of does like a cross the park and then if I walk straight to the end, I'll end up by the park. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. And then I just can't get enough of the leaves when they be changing color. It just gives like another kind of vibe to the neighborhood, you know, like pretty beautiful. Autumn season, so like I say, late October and like November are like the best times, you know, to observe this beauty right here. If you ever come to the northeast or areas in the states where it gets really cold, you know, that's like the perfect season to come around here. This over here is Prospect Park, and then you got the neighborhood Windsor Terrace. So I'm gonna do a couple of blocks ahead of me, probably pass by um, Glenwood Avenue. And then when I get there, I'm gonna enter the park to show you a little bit what's going on in the park. So far, it's looking beautiful, beautiful with the fall season colors. So I think it's gonna be pretty interesting. Just look at the colors over there, it's beauty. It looks like a painting or something like that, but yeah, it's a real life with the fall season. So we decided to enter the park. I haven't been in this park in a minute. Don't come here pretty often, but I think it's a super, super underrated park in New York City. Also, they do the Smorgasburg Festival and the other side. I think that was the last time I ever came to this park for the food festival, but let me do like one or two more blocks and then we're gonna enter the park to show you guys a little bit. And the contrast of the neighborhood, surrounded by the nature of the park. 
And that's one cool thing I, I like about New York City that in different type of bars that you go in, in neighborhoods, not only it's all concrete or building as a residential area, but they have it combined, you know, with a park. So if you want to escape the craziness of the city, you can enter a park and, you know, do exercise or meditation or relax or do anything. So now I have just entered Prosser Park. And I gotta say, it's all nothing but beauty right here in nature. I'm gonna walk it straight because I wanna make it to the lake and show you guys. And then I'm gonna turn back and head back to the neighborhood. But it's like full of colors over here with the trees and everything. You're gonna make it over that way straight. And it's also like a perfect place for you to go biking. Biking, or you could bring, you know, your family to a picnic, especially when the weather's nice. And over here you see more of the fall season colors. So like I say, it's similar to Central Park, but this one's like more local and less touristy. So totally worth, you know, the visit. So it's just really cool because it's like you're walking under a tunnel of trees surrounded by the trees and the colors you know that was a little lake that i showed there in the b-wall it's pretty awesome but then got all of this it just keeps going you know it's pretty pleasant all of this beauty look at all the leaves down and the color of the trees and i'm surrounded by a lake you can't really see it then i hear the construction because they're building some apartment complex i guess a little bit outside of the park so no matter what part of the city you go, there's always like construction happening all over. So, but yeah, pure nature. But now I'm gonna make it back into the neighborhood of Windsor Terrace and past Greenwood Avenue, which is gonna connect me to the other side, which is gonna pass on top of Highway, Highway 27, or also Prospect Expressway. And this will be like another part of the neighborhood and I'm gonna see what's going on over there and then party wrap up the video so i'm back in the neighborhood of windsor terrace in glenwood avenue so i'm gonna walk it straight and i think this would be like an overpass that's gonna pass the highway and then i should end up in the other side of the neighborhood and it would take me closer to glenwood cemetery so i'm not gonna go in the cemetery but you probably see from the outside what's going on and i tell you just get entertained looking at every single street over here is just beautiful and over there too and then we got like a couple of houses over here but let's make a straight forward to see what it looks like. And there should be like a little park once I pass the overpassage of the highway. Also, another interesting thing about the neighborhood, it's served by the F train and the G train. They got one by Parsons Park, and then they got this one over here, Fort Hamilton Parkway. And then I see the overpassage ahead of me, so I just got to figure how do I get over that side. And it's going to be up, so... We're going to pass a highway and then end up in the other side of the neighborhood. This is the overpassage. It has a nice looking ramp. And then over here is the highway. <laughs> and I lost count, like, how many bridges have I crossed by foot? How many highways have I passed on top or underneath by foot? But it's something pretty interesting. And then over here, you can have a view of the neighborhood. That's a dance that's pretty nice. We got, like, a restaurant over there. and. Some really good vibes. So now here I am once again crossing the highway. Resembles a little bit of Flushing Meadows Corona Park. So we got this over here, one side. And we got this over here. Good thing there's no traffic jam happening. But then the neighborhood keeps going a little bit on the other side. So gonna make it to the other side and see what's happening over there. Then make it back to the main road. And once you make it on the other side, it's like a little mini park and playground over there. And then we're gonna make a ride and end up in the other side of the neighborhood that looks super residential and quiet. Well, I decided to take a little break and sit down here in the park. And I gotta say, it's really, really pleasant to be around here. I had a little bit of snack that I carry in my backpack, but the weather today is just nice. You know, it's not super cold if you dress up, it's pretty nice and then. We got a playground, a playground there for kids. There were some kids that were playing basketball a little earlier. But yeah, you can see this all over New York City, you know, when you go in the neighborhood, a lot of the parks, a lot of the, the neighborhoods in New York, they got parks like this. So, you know, it's like a mixture of recreational with the neighborhood. So, taking another break, then I'm gonna go explore a little bit of the other side and wrap up the video. So back in the walking routine, 
to explore the other side of the neighbor to see what's going on. So I'm probably gonna do like a block or two and then merge to my right to see what some of the residential streets looks over here. And then I went get to the other side to see the outside of Greenwood Cemetery, which I think is gonna be pretty cool. And I wanted to go the other way, but I had to make a detour in this street here, 4th Street, I think it is, because I'm just looking at the beautiful colors of the fall season I'm gonna show you in a bit. Just look at this right here. The street, you know, pretty residential houses, well-maintained. It's just quiet, you know, wow. I'm loving it so far, the colors, which is beautiful. So that's a bit of 4th Street right here, East 4th Street, but now I'm gonna merge into 3rd Street to see what it looks like and then head towards Terrace Street and make it by the avenue where you can see Greenwood Cemetery. You know, here's 3rd Street and it's a pretty nice street too, you know. It's mostly like apartment, houses, complex combined together and then you got the nature of the trees. Like I say, it just feels Like I say, it just feels like you're in some, some other place, like in another world. But this is the heart of Brooklyn, like the center of Brooklyn in New York. And it's like, that's what I love about New York City, the mister of neighborhoods, all the varieties you can get no matter where you go. And then you can hop in the subway and within 20 minutes you're in the city in Manhattan, goes a squirrel. <laughs> Got squirrels all over here, so I hope, hopefully they don't jump on me. And, get the rabies <laughs> also i gotta say you know the clock went back one hour so it's only like three three something o'clock and it feels like it's already getting dark early you know that's one of the negativities about here when november comes and i thought it was going to be the last time that we're going to do it but i guess it changed your mind so hopefully by next year the clock doesn't goes back an hour early that way i got more time to explore outside you know because i like filming when it's bright outside so this is 20th street and it looks like they're gonna develop it and put asphalt in the street. It's like another vibe. I'm gonna do like a block and then merge to my left to show you the part where the cemetery is. But yeah, so far this is a nice street too. It's like, I think every single street that I've walked by in this neighborhood is just beautiful and it's pretty much, you know, peaceful and quiet, including the main street, but yeah. Super, super underrated neighborhood right here in Brooklyn. It's a neighborhood that a lot of people, they probably don't know about, so it's, hidden between Parson Park and Greenwood Cemetery. So my measure is to go that way and that way, but I'm making a little detour here to show you that it's something I like to do in every single neighborhood I explore, to show you the developments that's going on. So besides all the beautiful houses that you see over here, look, they're developing like this modern building over here. It looks pretty modern and it looks like it's gonna have like a balcony. So imagine like in the spring, summer season when the weather's nice and you sit up in the balcony, or celebrate the holidays during the summertime. It's just nice. But yeah, look at this neighbor. It's just beautiful. And I randomly just pick up the neighborhood and I search a little bit about it and I say, hey, why not come and explore? And I gotta say, I'm super, super impressed with this neighborhood. I'll tell you, it's like every day I discover something new in New York City. And that's why, you know, it's always good to explore other neighborhoods besides the touristy areas. Then this street is Terrace Place. And I don't know if you can hear it, but they got a machine, the wind blower blowing up the leaves or the fall season. So they do their best to keep the neighborhood, you know, impeccable, nice and clean. Like I tell you, I can spend the whole day showing you every single street in the city. And it's just nice. I really love the architecture with the brick buildings and that one over there is a little bit modern. So I think if I do like a block down, it should be the outside of the cemetery. Yeah, not sure if you can see it clearly, but outside there is Greenwood Cemetery. And so far it's looking beautiful from a distance with all the trees and stuff. Huge, massive cemetery that goes all the way. So I think I've seen a couple of bloggers that they cover this area, this cemetery. Just like the one I did when I went to Sleepy Hollow in New York. It was a beautiful cemetery and it was a perfect time to capture it in the, in the fall season. It's been like an awesome evening over here. This is actually the first time I explore around this region. Like I say, you just gotta, I just gotta do a lot of research and I always check on Google Maps like what other neighborhood I think it's worth exploring and then I try my best to cover it. Over here they got some nice looking apartment complex. Right here I like the fact how they have a balcony. And then you see the beautiful trees of the autumn season. 
Look at this one, this one's like super red. The leaves and stuff, you know, I just can't get enough of this beauty right here. Look at the contrast of pine tree. And then this one, super, super red. Fall season. Made a detour over here. Then we got like a nice looking pedestrian bridge. The same highway that I crossed earlier, I'm gonna cross it over this side. But this bridge has a little bit of a more style. We got some modern apartments across the street. Then you got a famous bike lane. Pretty busy over here because I figure a lot of people are trying to hop in the highway. But I'll show you guys in a bit what's going on. This is the bridge right here. You can see that's the ceiling and back again we're crossing the same highway to the other side. So it's crazy how it's a small neighborhood, but it has a mayor highway that passes through the neighborhood. So <laughs> that's something that is uh, pretty interesting. So once I'm out there, I'll do a block, make a left, and I should be entering, I should be entering in Foster Park uh, Street. And then here, this is 17th Street. And it'll take me to the main street. And then over there, I'll probably wrap up the video but even this street is pretty interesting surrounded by the highway you know so you just really can't get enough of every type of neighborhood that you go in new york city and then you just walk around here in this peaceful and quiet actually i came here earlier when i started my video so i'm finishing literally where i started the video made it back again to Prosser park west and then another thing this over here this neighborhood over here is south slope so windsor terrace borders with south slope and park slope which is another pretty interesting neighborhood that I cover a couple of times, you know, and then we're back again in the main street with all the restaurants and business going on. Got some dim sun right here, you know. Got a lot of cool stuff. And like I said, once again, I love how clean the sidewalks is. With the cobblestones. Then they got a Thai restaurant across the street. Pretty interesting because I was in Thailand, what, like two months ago, so, yep. But yeah, pretty interesting. Then they got a bakery and everything. And you can start seeing the fall season colors in the other side of the street. So that was the end of my video exploring this beautiful neighborhood of Windsor Terrace. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all. And peace.